Have you bought a laser engraver and want to start making some money with it? In this video I have 20 top products to make and sell with your laser engraver and cutter. Hi and welcome, I'm Sarah. I have this most amazing machine, the X-Tool P2 laser engraver. I got this machine as a business starter. Let me show you my process and how we're going to make some money on this X-Tool P2. Some projects are quick, easy and simple to complete. And you don't need to purchase any new software. Xtool Creative Space is free and allows you to be creative without actually being too creative. I share some unique project ideas with you later. But here in Creative Space there is a library of shapes and items that lets you get going straight away. I've added some items in from the library along with the hexagons and I'm making a little memory game. These can be cut and engraved really quite easily and quickly on the laser. It's a lovely item to add to your collection and sell. You can make a little box for these and personalise that, or as I do, put them in a personalised hessian bag. This laser engraver is a CO2 laser engraver and it's much faster than any other laser that I've used. I've cut and engraved these on a scrap piece of wood, adding just a bit of wood stain to finish them off. These could also be made out of acrylic and I'll share with you some acrylic projects a little later on. This is a simple and fun laser engraving project that you could also personalise too. Whenever adding any personalisation you can always up that price tag. Something to bear in mind with any of these projects. This laser has the capability of cutting up to 35mm in thickness of wood. Here I have some 6mm MDF. I designed this next shape in Adobe Illustrator and saved it as an SVG file. I currently use this laser here in my living room so I do have good extraction. And I have it connected up to the white box which you saw there which is the air purifier. These shapes here I've designed to be a batch of beautiful coasters. I know when it comes to laser engraving projects we see lots of coasters, but these are no ordinary coasters. You can do something really quite unique and different, and this laser gives you that possibility. If you're doing many at one time, spray paint is a really good option, but I want mine to all be that slightly different colour, so I'm using my paintbrush. Then use a top coat. I think they're beautiful and a great and practical product to sell. Now this is a great product to sell and one that you will want to do personalisation with. So I have a doormat and I'm marking out the area in which I want my engraving to be. The masking tape allows me to get it 100% accurate. I have the riser unit attached underneath the laser and so that allows me to add the doormat in that little bit lower. So I remove the bars and put the tray that little bit lower. Then once the doormat is in there the laser itself measures the distance from the laser to the mat. You just have to click the correct buttons in here and then it takes a photo, it knows where the mat is and then you just set everything else the way you normally would. It's all in place where I want it to be, so I remove the masking tape and press go. If an item like this is new to you, then I always recommend getting a sample and then testing out that sample and getting the settings just right. As the mat that I purchase might be slightly different from the mat you purchase, but always make sure they're not synthetic fibres, they want to be natural fibres. Another fantastic product to sell and it really makes a great gift. And before too long, hopefully you'll be making your money back on that laser. We all love to be creative in this house and an item I love to give is a craft kit. So you can use the laser to cut out some shapes out of the wood, package these together with some paint and some brushes and label them as a gingerbread kit. Just before Christmas we used these craft kits to get together with some friends. We all sat around and painted these for some creative therapy. The accuracy and detail of a laser is amazing and I love the products we can create with it. 
At birthdays and Christmas, it's often tricky to know what to buy someone and it's quite often easier to give someone a gift of cash. And the design that I've created here allows you to give that gift of cash in a more unique way and what a great product to sell. Sheets of this 2mm thick plywood is really not expensive and you can get many designs on one sheet. I never throw anything away, keep all the little bits and always use those little bits for other designs later on. This is going to be a hanging dove with the cash that goes to the beak. It's cut beautifully but what I often like to do is take a little bit of wood stain and that helps with some of the scorch marks and it blends those away and it brings out the lovely texture and grain of the wood. I also make these in white as well and so I have a little bit of acrylic paint thinned down with water and sponge this on and then as long as you seal everything with some varnish you can then glue these pieces together and they really are beautiful and I think they make a really wonderful gift and a great product to sell. Adding a little bit of thin elastic to the beak and some ribbon to hang it up. You add the cash in there, all you do is roll it up. You can roll as much as you like and make that elastic just that little bit bigger so it's up to you how you choose to sell these and you can also do them personalised too. This video is for some inspiration and to get that creativity flowing. If you have use of a vinyl cutting machine you can also use this alongside the laser and make some really beautiful projects. Here I'm able to add some glitter to these projects. I've used heat transfer vinyl for this. Cutting the design out of clear acrylic and wood gives quite a different result but both work really well. My main reason for getting this laser above other lasers is its ability to cut clear acrylic and any acrylic. Wood cutting and engraving laser projects are certainly a lot of fun but being able to use acrylic opens up a huge world of possibilities. Again you can create items really quite easily within Xtool Creative Space. You can combine items and add items together and come up with really quite unique designs even though you're using them within the basic software. The acrylic cuts beautifully and here I'm making some keychains and keychains are a really great item to sell. I choose to use initials instead of the full name as I can make a huge batch of these to sell without being too specific on people's names. The extractor and the air purifier and good ventilation are definitely needed when cutting acrylic. This laser as you can see is so fast it's cut four of those items in 1 minute 43. Really simple, but a keychain is an item that really does sell, and I love them, I hope you do too. I have some glue in my syringe, which is specially for plastics, and this makes sure nothing goes anywhere. So those two get placed together, left for a couple of minutes, and then they are completely bonded together. I'll put my links in the description below. When selling items like this, you need to make 100% certain that these items are not going to come loose and come apart. The keychains are created in Creative Space, and so I'm going to do another sign also within Creative Space. So you add in your text, you can use the outline function and combine things together and create your design. You could offer a service to make all kinds of different signs, make some generic ones and offer personalization as well. I do have a diode laser that cuts acrylic but not all of the different colors of acrylic. So I love this machine now as I can cut every color of acrylic on it. I've designed a simple we are open sign but using a mixture of colored acrylic we can really make it into a fun sign. If you're going to be making the same signs over and over again, I recommend cutting out a template. I use a little bit of sticky tape to stick this to the base acrylic and then this really helps with the placement of the letters. The template makes it a really quick and easy process. So again, I have some special glue 
and then the pieces just slot in place. You could do much bigger signs for this and shop signs as well. There is definitely a market for this kind of product. Wedding signage is also big business, so also something to think about. And there we are, really quickly, a really great design. Just add some cord and hang it up. If you're creating larger items like acrylic signs, then I think it's always good to have smaller projects on hand that you can use for those leftover pieces of acrylic so that we're not wasting the product and that we get as much as we can out of our acrylic sheets. And this is where I like to design unique earrings. And when cutting pieces like this, you really see the accuracy. Look how accurate and detailed you can get with the laser and with the acrylic. So I've designed some rainbow earrings and I cut these out of my scrap pieces of acrylic. You can make so many different designs. You can make keychains and necklaces and all sorts out of these. I just have a little box of findings and I place these together with these little hoops. It can be quite fiddly, so it's good to think of a design that you don't mind doing over and over again. If you do like sitting there and hooking these together, fair enough. But if, I, if you don't, then I'd go for a different product that didn't need piecing together. Like I added some vinyl on the Christmas design earlier, you can add some vinyl on top of these to make them extra cute. When it comes to creating products that you're going to sell, you really want to like that product and really like and enjoy the process of making that product. So always bear that in mind when choosing your products that you are going to put in your shop. And that shop most often now are online. But it's also a good idea to go to your local independent stores and see if they will stock your new product. When pricing your products, do take into account all materials used and all your time and cost that in as well. At Christmas time, I got a few sheets of this clear acrylic and cut out lots of these bauble designs and engraved the acrylic with those snowflakes and that works beautifully. I also added some heat vinyl and made lots of baubles for lots of friends and relatives in this way. So there we have another really great acrylic product to sell. This one fully engraved, so really quick and easy. Another revenue stream for acrylic could be acrylic shapes used to make silicon moulds. So someone like myself enjoys making unique silicon moulds, so I'm always looking for different designs. So there's possibility to provide a cutting service of SVG files into acrylic shapes like this. So people can make their own silica moulds like the one I've made here from the heart shaped acrylic. Rubber stamp making is another whole new world that opens up with laser engraving. You can purchase just the rubber sheets but the other accessories are also available. People might want all kinds of things on a unique rubber stamp, but a logo of someone's business is definitely a good starting point. Using Xtool Creative Space, the logos and design are easy to put together. Make sure you reverse the logo, add a box around it, and then put it in a negative space, as the black is the part that is going to be engraved away. The great feature of the Xtool P2 is the fact that it has the camera and so when you put your design in position you can see exactly where it's going to go on your material. Everything so far that I've done in these projects have been one pass whereas this it needs three passes to get a deep enough engrave on the rubber. Brush the debris away or give it a wash as I have and then I've cut out some little blocks again with the laser and glue all of this together so that I have a little personalised stamp. The sheets of rubber come in fairly large so you could actually do something much bigger than this but if you think about it how many of these you could get on one sheet of rubber it's actually a very cost effective way of making these and you could sell a fair few off just one sheet. When selling these provide an ink pad along with each one so the customer is able to use them straight away and the results are fantastic. 
I really am pleased with that and I'm able to sell these to different companies in my local area and they've all been happy with the result. I now need to find some small enough to use these ones with. Cardstock cuts really well on the laser as well. You can get so many designs out really quickly. I packaged up these card wreaths with some pom-poms and ribbons as craft kits for kids. There are so many products you can create out of cardstock. Another great area to sell items in is Doll's House Miniatures. Miniatures are a ratio of 1 to 12, so you want to reduce that item down to 1 12th of the size. And there are so many different items that you're able to cut on your laser. So for example here, just using Creative Space and the images in there, and I'm able to cut out some miniature picture frames really easily. I do recommend you using masking tape to eliminate the scorch marks. Again, little personalised signs, miniatures for the doll's house are absolutely gorgeous. And do you know, they're so easy to pop in the post. Um, they're a really good one to start with. You can finish them with a bit of wood stain or some acrylic paint, or I have these metallic markers that work wonders and give a lovely sheen to items like this. All the wooden items that I've shown you so far in this video all benefit from a spray lacquer and it's really easy to apply this. Hopefully this has given you some inspiration and if you're enjoying my videos please do hit the like button and please do subscribe if you'd like to see some more. In no time at all you can create many of these and create lots of different designs and offer them for sale in your shop. A material I've been playing around with a bit recently is leather. I made these leather keychains by cutting them by hand, but I thought I'd give them a go on the laser, so I cut this one on the laser. It does give quite a charred effect on the edge. I'll put a link for the SVG files for all the leather projects in the description below. This one I cut out a fair bit smaller than my normal design, so it's a little bit trickier, but it does produce really quite a beautiful effect as well. The only thing with cutting leather, it does burn it, and so you get a really burnt smell for a while, so it takes a little bit of a time for that to disappear. But if you like to work with leather, this is a possibility to make some leather keychains, which cut really quickly and easily on the laser engraver. This is also something else that could be personalised. It's quite good if you can get hold of some leather offcuts. That's what I do with my projects. And so I have another offcut here and I have another design which is a little cow design. You can see here how quickly and easily the leather is cut on the laser. Again using masking tape to make sure the scorch marks don't affect the leather. You can wash any of the stickiness off the leather after it's been lasered and dampening it also helps it set in place. So another fun little project and an item that would look great for sale on your page. When it comes to leather, leather wallets are very popular and so I was also able to cut this on the laser. I've masked out the area and here you can see how quickly and easily the laser gets to work. Look at it go, it's an absolutely fantastic machine this one. The item can then be hand stitched so it depends whether this is something you would be happy doing. I really enjoy this kind of process but these can be personalised as well. If you'd like to see more of my leather projects I did do a leather video and please check that out in the description below. If you like the idea of this but you don't want to spend the time actually stitching this up then another product idea is actually making a kit. A little kit that has all the pieces you need to make that leather wallet. So you're able to cut the pieces out on the laser, package them up, add some instructions and a label and there you have another product for your shop. I had a lot of fun with the project that you see here in front of me and all of these were made as you saw there from disposable wooden spoons. So the laser as you can see cuts really detailed and really lovely. These weren't actually cut on this one. I did these in another video but the results are the same. 
There are so many different home decor items that you can make and sell on your laser. I designed this piece as a piece of home decor sculpture, but the first prototype was far too flimsy, so I just made that design a little bit thicker and attached the hair to the top of the eye there. And then I was able to cut this again, and I think that's going to be so much more robust. So this is just one example of something I've just thought of now that I would love to sell in my shop. This cut out in about four minutes, and so it really isn't that long. You can cut a base as well for this to attach in, or as I've done here, I've added some air dry clay to the base, and you can ship these apart so that the recipient would then put them together. If you're wondering about the settings that I used within this video, you can go online at Xtool and see all the different parameters and the different recommended settings. What I tend to do is start with those and then work back and forth to see if I can find a more specific setting for my specific material. This laser engraver has big possibilities and it also has the slide extension which I've not tried yet but it looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and you come to see some more of my laser engraving videos and other creative videos here on Red Rocking Bird. Bye for now.